It's been a little while since we've done an equilibrium with a weak acid, so let's begin this chapter with a review of last chapter. Let's see if we can find the pH if one mole of acetic acid is added to make one liter of solution. Let's begin with the equation. I have acetic acid, HC2H3O2, and it's going to dissociate into the hydrogen ion and the acetate ion. Now this is a weak acid, so the reaction is reversible. And when dealing with weak acids and weak bases, we're going to need the equilibrium constant. Now acetic acid is one we've worked with a lot, so you may remember, or it's easy to look up, that the Ka is going to be 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. So when we did these, we always did a nice chart, looking at the initial change in equilibrium expressions. So for my acetic acid, well, I'm starting with one mole per one liter, so that's just a one molar solution. And initially, I don't have any hydrogen ion or any acetate ion. So this is going to decrease by some amount, minus x. And these are, because it's a one to one ratio, we're going to increase by the same amount. So I'm going to end up with one minus x, x, and x. So when I look at my Ka value here, Ka is going to equal x squared over 1 minus x. We can make this assumption that x is much smaller than 1 because our Ka value is so much smaller than our initial concentration. So when I do that, I can ignore this minus x part. And so you end up with a statement where k a equals x squared, or x equals 0 0.00424 molar. Now if I look at my data, everything's in two sig figs, so we should probably write that as 0 0.0042 molar. Now the question is asking for the pH, so I'm going to take the negative log of that, and so my pH is going to equal 2.37.